before we start going, I just want to say sorry for my English as well as the video and audio quality. I'm not really used to doing these videos, but because of requests, I'm trying to do it. So again, I'm really sorry for not uploading in 4K right now. Uh, because of my upload speed, it would take forever to upload a 16 minute video. And uh, yeah, as well as for my English. So if you have any questions, just let me know. Uh, I have my social media in the description. And uh, you can contact me there as well as on my Discord server or the comments. So if you have any questions or any tips for videos like how do I swap a, a drivetrain or the steering angle on cars in a set of course, uh, just let me know. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Hello there. In this video I'm going to try to explain to you how to change uh, rev limiters in a set of course and also change the power of the engine with the individual rev numbers. What I mean by that is you can change how much uh, power an engine makes at 6000 RPM relative to 5000 or 4000 RPM. Um, one simple tool that you need for all the things is a set of course a car tuner. Um, I will link that in the description. You can download it, it's free. Um, I downloaded it from race department and I suggest you do the same thing because, well, if you download it from a Russian website you never know what you really get. So uh, yeah, you should use the link in the description. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna show you that application right now. You get those three files here and you will need to open up the exe file. Uh, normally you can run it on normal um, normal settings. You don't, you don't have to use the administration mode. So just launch it normally and you will have this. Uh, in the future, I guess you will have other versions. I use the 1.5 right now because I never had issues with it. And uh, to start off, you need a car. So you need a car to say which one you want to modify. Let's say you have the R34 and you say it's not having enough power. You can easily add power with adjusting turbo pressure or swapping an engine. Although I don't know which engine you would swap in an R34 that has more power. Um, or you just want to make it lighter or something. You can all do all those things. Uh, you can do them all in this application. You can even make it front wheel drive which would be really stupid. But yeah, uh, for the purposes of showing how this is working, I'm going to use um, the Abarth 595. I I think it has 32 horsepower or 31, something like that. Uh, it's just really simple to show with this car. And to start the whole thing, you will need to have a name for the tune. You can do like S1, S2, S3, it doesn't matter. But since we already have S1 and S2, I'm just gonna do uh, I'm just gonna do S3 because, well, why not? So you just click on create new tune when you have the name in this field here, in this box. Um, sometimes it takes a bit of time to, you know, do this. <laughs> and uh, yeah. It, uh, up here you can do things that are pretty simple, just increase the torque um, at turbos. As far as I know, you can't add more than two turbos, although there are uh, like things here. I never really could add more than two turbos um, on this page. I had to do that manually and I can show you how this works, like how you can add more than two turbos to a car uh, in a different video if you want. Oh, and by the way, really, I'm really sorry for my uh, accent, for my English. It's really <laughs> unusual for me to do these kind of videos. So down here you have the threshold of the boost damage. Uh, this pretty much just says like if you have a, a wastegate at two bar, which would be a lot, but if you would have that uh, and you have a threshold of 1.8, the boost actually starts damaging the engine at 1.8 bar, and you can select how much pressure, uh, how much boost, sorry, no, <laughs> how much damage is done to the engine uh, in the files at the advanced tuning section. Um, yeah, over here you can set the weight, the drivetrain, and all that. It, it, it says this. 
it's really easy. Uh, the really important part starts at the advanced tuning. So um, we have two things th that we can do over here. Um, firstly, the power, and secondly, the rev limiter. So if you just want to adjust the rev limiter and you go above where it actually is, you have to set the power there. Because for most cars, I'll just show you real quick, uh, you have the engine.ini file. It should also be in your car folder. I'll just show that real quick. Um, I have it here. Content, cars. And uh, when you create a tune, there is the, the normal car folder and the tune car folder mostly on top when you sort it. By uh, date modified and in the data folder you have all these files and the one I have opened right now is engine.ini so you can also modify it in here but I just figured that it would be much simpler to do it in here but yeah you, you can find it in the game folder as well so uh, now the limiter it should be in engine data I'll just quickly show how it looks in um, in the editor yeah it's over here at engine data you have um, the idle RPM it's minimum uh, you can modify that let's just say it's just 500 RPM which is like diesel trucks which is a lot like really not much for a gasoline car I don't even think there is any normal car that revs that low at idle uh, and this is the top limiter it's 6,500 RPM. It's not really much for the game itself, but well, it, it, it's a gasoline car. It's normal. Uh, let's just say you want to have this revving to 8,000 RPM. That's a good reference right now. So you have to change that, and you can just type in 8,000. It doesn't matter if you have a like space blank that won't modify or move this value back here. It's just just type in the number you want and. Uh, don't forget to save. Well, let's just do it differently so I can show it, uh, you in this application as well. I'm just going to type in something different in here. And when you are in this, which is much simpler, uh, you have this file selected. You have the same thing, the very same thing as in the car folder. But it's smaller and more easy to use. I'm going to make it full screen real quick. Oh no, that, that doesn't look good. Okay. Um, anyway, you have the limiter here, and it's saying something different because I just changed it without reloading this. I'm going to go back in here. Um, yeah, this says 8,500 now, but we don't want that. We want 8,000. So just type that in, and it says that it auto -sa auto saves, but as far as I know, it doesn't. So just go on the basic tuning and apply it. Every time you're done, especially if you have, if you have done... A lot of things if you have modified something for minutes uh, it's really good to save so you won't lose any progress so uh, when you're done with adjusting the rev limiter which you can by the way also remove uh, if you play with damage there's a set damage um, point that you can adjust um, that should be in the damage I think damage file hold on it's I, th I think it's in the engine file but I'm not sure uh, yeah I know that's um, yeah RPM threshold it says that down here that's the threshold that uh, tells you when the engine is gonna get damaged because of over revving um, yeah let's just adjust that to 8600 because why not that's not really a reason but yeah whatever um, and yeah, this just tells you when the engine is going to get damaged, when you play with damage. Uh, if you don't, just don't, uh, never mind that part. Now we want to adjust the power um, to tell the uh, the game how much power does the engine have after 6500 RPM. Um, therefore you have to search for power.lut, it's down here. The car folder, it should be somewhere down here. Yeah, it's, it's over here. And you just open that up and you have these numbers. I'm actually going to use Notepad for this because it's bigger and better to, you know, to explain. 
so you have these values over here and yeah this is pretty much just I don't really know what that is I never saw that before but I think that's for I don't know coasting or something anyway uh, let's just I'm just quickly gonna remove that you shouldn't just leave it there but just for the purposes of this video I'm gonna remove it there so you see that the engine has in the individual rev uh, ranges like at 2000 rpm it has 30 horsepower uh, at 5000 rpm it has 38 horsepower and this drops again now this is quote unquote rendered till 7500 rpm so what you want to do is uh, you just add on all the way uh, where you want to go to so let's say you have until 9000 rpm you just do 8000 that was yeah 8000 then 8500 and 9000 and you're done pretty much but since we only want to go until 8000 rpm it's fine like it is or as it is and uh, yeah you don't have to go down you can do this however you want but if you want to keep it realistic you have to go down on power after like 60 70 percent of the rev range of the car so let's just keep it realistic here it drops here so yeah that, let's say it, this is 21 horsepower and this is 19 so now the engine revs uh, all the way to 8000 rpm and it has power after that if you just leave it away uh, you will pretty much just go all the way there where the, the uh, developers said that the car will have power so if the developers set the power to 7000 rpm and afterwards the car has no power it won't rev higher because it has no power to do so this is pretty much already it so I'm going to close this and I'm going to show you the effects of it in game. And quickly before I start, um, it's just, you know, if you have this car, uh, you should really just select the tuning file and I don't know if somebody of you doesn't use um, content manager but if you don't there is like uh, you can select for the M3 E30 for example you can select the drift tune and the stock tune and all that and the same applies for your tuned cars it's always a C for, ex uh, for some reason and uh, yeah here we have the 595 and for some reason oh there it is yeah, in the files I just said S1, S2, that's why I just typed in S3. But yeah, just like that, it should have all the liveries the car had before. So yeah, it really doesn't matter what livery you choose, just choose the car and go to the track. Okay, so I'm here now. For some reason, I have a uh, another person with me. But yeah, just let's just not focus on that person. And hold on, I'm gonna make make it uh, so it's daytime really quick. Yeah, that's better. So um, yeah, as I said, the car was revving until six thousand. 500 rpm around here and uh, now it should rev all the way to 8000 rpm which is you know the end of the, the gauge all the way there let's see now 
Now it might sound really weird, but that's just because of the sound file. And lucky as I am, I chose a car that doesn't really support the sound after the rev limiter, the stock one. So you just have to try around. Like especially with mod cars, you have no problem. And uh, if you're here from the A86 video, you will know that it kind of sounds well different after that barrier. There are cars like the RX-7 which just sounds ridiculous um, after their original rev limit, but yeah, you will just figure that out by yourself. Just try to find a car that suits that, and as I said, um, yeah, as long as you find a car that has no changed rev limiter sound or something, uh, I don't really know how to call that, you will have a car that is capable of, you know, revving um, afterwards. After the rev limiter, <laughs> yeah, my my English is just really bad right now. But as a bonus, I'll just show you um, a drag run of this. And yeah, thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, just let me down, uh, let me know down in the comments. And uh, that's it. Yeah, as I said, thank you for watching.